I'd like to welcome Arthur Levine, President of the Woodrow Wilson National Fellowship Foundation, for being here for today's announcement. Um, we've met before and discussed this, and I'm glad that we're able to be here today to make this announcement. Um, over the last 18 months, my administration has focused on several key areas in the area of education, talent, innovation, academics, and performance, in order to strengthen and improve um, the education across our entire state. And I have to give great credit and thanks to the Education Commissioner, Commissioner Cerf, for all the work that he has done um, in leading this effort across the state. And Chris, thank you for what you've done. Through our collective efforts, whether passing the Teach New Jersey Act to reform the state's tenure process and the evaluation system for all of our school districts, or the recent agreement on a landmark contract in Newark, where teachers will earn raises and be eligible for additional bonuses based on performance, performance that they're accomplishing in the classroom. Um, we're recognizing what research has shown us for years. Great teachers matter. And so their effectiveness matters for our kids. And strengthening our educators with high expectations and strong support and training systems can make a life-changing difference for our children. And, you know, as a parent, I know that I want the best for my children and parents across New Jersey want the best for their children no matter where they live. I believe our work demonstrates unequivocally that we're going to accept nothing less for any of New Jersey's children, no matter what their zip code. So with today's announcement of the Woodrow Wilson Teaching Fellowship, we are reaffirming our commitment to investing in teacher talent by creating a new pipeline for recruiting highly qualified teaching candidates and training them so they can generate the greatest positive learning outcomes for children all across New Jersey. The fellowship which has nearly $9 million in support from a consortium of foundations and private funders. And I see Chris Daggett here from the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation, one of the major supporters. And Chris, thank you for the foundation's support and for your support as well. Um, we'll provide $30,000 stipends to recipients in exchange for their commitment to teach in a high-need urban or rural school in New Jersey for three years with ongoing mentoring. Partnerships between our higher education institutions and our school districts are essential. And I'm thrilled that uh, my Secretary of Higher Education, Rochelle Hendricks, who also has a bit of a history in the Department of Education as well, um, is here today and leading the charge along with the College of New Jersey, Montclair State, Rowan, Rutgers University in Camden, and William Patterson, who are all taking part in this venture along with our regular secondary and elementary schools. I'd also like to point out that New Jersey continues to lead the way in reform. We're the first East Coast state to participate in the Woodrow Wilson Teaching Fellowship, and we're proud to have that distinction. Beyond just investing in education, this demonstrates a commitment to growing our economy. The fellowship, which is specifically targeted to recruiting teachers with strong backgrounds in the STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. These are fields that experts forecast as forming the basis of the global economy over the next decade. In the U.S. Department of Commerce, they have projected that STEM occupations will grow by 17% from now until 2018, compared to 10% growth in non-STEM occupations. That means approximately 2.8 million new STEM job openings. Through the Woodrow Wilson Teaching Fellowship, we'll be able to help transform the way teacher candidates are prepared so they can equip our students with the skills they need to fill those jobs and to make our state and our country more competitive um, in this economy. And so I want to thank Arthur for approaching me some time ago about taking this on. I want to thank Chris and Rochelle uh, for stepping up to the plate and, and making it happen. And I'm proud to introduce Arthur. I'll be back to take questions after that. But I want to introduce our partner in this, Arthur Levine, the president of the Woodrow Wilson Foundation. Thank you, Arthur. Your eyes are a lot better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. It's a real honor for us to bring the Woodrow Wilson Fellowship to New Jersey. It's our home state, but more than that, it's Governor Christie's state. I want to thank you for your encouragement, your assistance, your leadership, and your support and activism in the part of building education in New Jersey. And I also want to thank Commissioner Cerf and Secretary Hendricks, who were there from the start with us in making this program possible. And I'm also really grateful to the funders. Chris Daggett, who told us we had to come to New Jersey and provided the lead funding. But also Laura Overdeck, 
who supported us and encouraged us, the Overdeck Foundation. Also, Marco Navarro, who's here today. Senior Program Officer, Robert Wood Johnson. And Elliot Lee, Vice President of J.P. Morgan Chase Foundation. And Sheila Rossiak, President of PSEG Foundation. Brian and Sandy Marr, the Education Testing Service. The William Simon Foundation. Jennifer Chalsey and the Schumann Fund. This group, as the governor said, contributed nearly $9 million. And what this is going to do, it's going to allow us to address a vital future in this state. This state has a number of open jobs, thousands of open jobs in the STEM field for which there are not people prepared to fill them. We hope that this will address some of that. Performance in the STEM subjects in the state isn't as high as it needs to be. We hope this program will address that. We're not preparing enough STEM teachers to fill the highest need schools. We hope this program will address that. The quality of the teachers we're producing isn't where it needs to be in many schools. We hope this will address that. Our goal in this program is going to be to provide strong teachers to high need urban and rural schools in the most understaffed subjects they have math and science. We want to attract the best and the brightest to careers in teaching. We hope this will be a Rhodes Scholarship for teachers. We want to retain excellent teachers in high need schools. And most fundamentally, we want to do is transform teacher education in New Jersey and the nation and create models to guide the 21st century. This program will take excellent people superb people with STEM backgrounds, and they will agree to teach in this state for three years. But in truth, we hope they're going to make this their career. The universities that are participating in this program have said what they want to do is create the programs this nation needs, this state needs, the children of New Jersey need. And after they're done with them, they want to provide three years of mentoring once they take their job. New Jersey today joins Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio in this program. And you know what? This is New Jersey, and we're really happy to be here. Five universities, and the governor articulated which ones they were, are going to participate in this program. So what we're going to see is that, and they're all represented here today, the College of New Jersey by its provost, by its interim provost, Susan Bakewell Sachs, Montclair, by Francine Peterman, the Dean of the College of Education, Rowan University by Jim Newell, its provost, Rutgers Camden by Dan Hart, Director of the Institute for Effective Education, and William Patterson by its Dean, Candace Burns. Each of those schools is going to work with major districts in this state. We have Rich Kaplan here today from New Brunswick, but TCNJ is also going to work with Trenton, Ewing, and Lawrence, in addition to New Brunswick. Montclair State is going to work with Orange, represented by Ronald Lee today in Newark. Rowan and Camden, are going, Rutgers Camden, are going to work with Pemberton, Vineland, Camden, Bridgeton, Millville. And William Patterson is going to work with Patterson. We are extraordinarily proud today to be launching this program having a chance to work with this governor, this administration, having a chance to work with these universities and these school districts. And through our cooperative effort, the greatest beneficiaries will be the children of this state and the future of New Jersey.